Welcome back to part 10 of my Tangle Hair game. In the previous part, we fought in a war to invade the kingdom of Lithuania, which we won. Uh, so we now have quite a bit of land. We're kind of working on trying to get this all attached. I'm planning on maybe fighting a few minor wars uh, against these little tiny factions over here. Their land would be better off in my hands anyway. These guys here as well. So right now the plan is, whenever we hit our next character, we're going to use our subjugation war against Novgorod. Given that we're bordering them quite a bit now, and that's going to make our land look pretty damn big, I think. And probably going to continue expanding a little bit up here as well, in the north. Uh, okay, we're malnourished already. Might have to do something about that. So that's a little health penalty, isn't it? Yeah, we're actually in poor health now. I'm not sure that that's what I want quite yet. We're not quite ready to die on this character yet. What am I trying to do? Gain weight. Yeah, let's do that. What is this? He hit me with a real sword. Oh. War is no game. Apologize. Or, we're just supporting him and he gets some prowess. Or this guy gets some prowess. Take it to your nurse. Oh dear. Uh, none of these are really good. We don't really care about these guys having any prowess, do we? So the arbitrary one hit the wounded one? <laughs> listens and makes an apology. Oh, there we go. He's still arbitrary, though. <laughs> it's probably going to happen again. Uh, anyways, let's see how this is going. They're like, okay, this guy's in five wars. Um, yeah, this is kind of what I was hoping, is that my vassals are going to be this is also a vassal of mine? Yep. Okay, so apparently a whole bunch of them are in wars. They're all kind of neutral-ish, though. Um, before my character dies, I'm okay with him being malnourished, and eventually we'll just move on to our son. But I want to figure out who I'm going to play before that happens, and then I want to disinherit my other sons. Uh, temperate, okay. Very sad. Not virtuous on this character, and he's craven. So we're gonna have to waste a lot of renown here, disinheriting, but I think I'd rather do that than uh, have my land be split up. Okay, I'm not doing this again. No. Do it yourself. Um... So if I start disinheriting, I, I think I'd want to do it mostly all at the same time here. These guys are all going to be mad at me. We're going to lose a lot of legitimacy, but we can probably just like host a funeral or something like that. We're maxed out anyways. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so let's just start doing this. So you are gone. You are gone. You, the arbitrary one, you're gone. The lazy one. You're gone. Is this really the last son? Okay. And then we disinherit you as well. And then we have enough for one more. Which, obviously, we're not going to disinherit all of our sons. We're going to disinherit all but one of them. So I'll choose who to disinherit uh, based on whatever traits this guy gets, I guess. Um, we're just about to get Know Thyself, so once we do that, I'm going to stop gaining weight, and then we're probably going to go poor health. Oh, we're poor health anyway. Okay, wow. Uh, we should be fine here, though. It's just a, just a couple months. So let's stop gaining weight. We're going to start to wither away our malnourished, inepidic character here. As, lo as long as we're not just going to die randomly and I can disinherit my son... Hopefully you get some good trades. 
So, ooh, wow, that did a lot of damage, actually. Disinheriting is really expensive. Okay, let's just do this, get the experience. So now we have no thyself, our character is not just gonna die randomly. He's in poor health, so we can get this warning like any time, really. Uh, and then with the rest of our time on this character, I guess we just, yeah, get scientific or something like that. We are still researching anyway. We have access to siege weapons now. So let's go ahead and get that. Uh, I haven't really been increasing my military here much. Which we have plenty of prestige, so I guess I should probably just be doing. Uh, let's keep these guys for sure. Vigman, do I need two? No, let's get rid of this guy. And let's just get another stack of ranching veterans. This is kind of what I need to be doing here. Make my army stronger. There we go. I guess I should just max everything out here. Spondy and then Vigman. There we go. Oh yeah, we're going to be strong now. Odin is more important than breakfast. Okay. So we should be getting a pick here pretty soon. He's eight. About to turn nine. You usually get your first one at nine, I think. We could start making some duchy titles to give away. Um... Let's see when these finish healing up exactly how much prestige we're making here. I assume we're not actually a negative when they're not healing. I should have done this long ago, actually. It was, uh... I wouldn't have lost that battle if I had stronger men at arms, that's for sure. Okay, so he had a daughter with his wife. So at least they have someone. Uh, either way, once I become, even if I choose my younger son, I can always just re-inherit my brothers. It's not like they're gone from the line of succession forever or anything like that. It's not like taking the vows where you can't undo it. Oh, nice. Um, this guy actually pressed a claim on that whole kingdom, it looks like. Nice, the expansion is going well. They should be able to do all these themselves. I, I don't want to have to declare war for these little counties. How much land here? No way! No way! Oh, the beating! No! Of all the ones to get, it's the beating. I hate this. I hate this so much. It's like he's going into diplomacy. You know, I hate playing with all of these. Paranoid is just the worst to play with. Craven is bad, and then worse in our religion, because it's sinful. And then Shy is also pretty bad, on, but on top of that, like, we're going into diplomacy, to, so to make a, a Shy character with the diplomacy education just doesn't even make sense. There's some benefit here, I guess. It's probably the least bad of these. Ugh. Should I actually just play my older son? Damn, that's terrible. I'm just gonna keep the stress, even though we could have taken Confider, since we're gonna be moving on to the next character soon. Oh, that's just really annoying. I didn't know they gave that plague resistance, though. That's kind of interesting. The beating. Why does that have to pop up so often? Unhand me. Oh, that's disappointing. I guess I will hold court. We kind of destroyed our legitimacy a little bit here. So we need to get it back a little bit. And I think I might actually just host the funeral as well. I assume that there's going to be some random relation to me. A couple aunts here. 67, 60. Okay, let's just, yeah, let's just mourn them. 
Um, these events give tons of legitimacy, and we need, kind of need to get some back. We went from, like, maxed, maxed, all the way down here from disinheriting, I think it was five sons, wasn't it? So really, really steep cost. Uh, which is probably a good thing. It should be, it should be punishing to disinherit. I don't mind that at all. I'm not usually disinheriting that much, but then again, I'm not usually playing this religion, so usually I'm having my sons take the vows if I need them to, instead of just disinheriting. Yeah, I guess they'll uh, finish their education and then just sit in my court as champions. She got converted to their religion. Is no one gonna fight these guys? So what happened with you? You're not even that good. Oh. We did expanding somewhere. I'm not sure what though. I don't even know who this is. I mean, it's my aunt, but I haven't been paying attention to what she's been up to. Uh, I don't have really good percent chances on these legitimacy options. There's always some that give you guaranteed, though, so we can always take those. Or just drop the stress. All eyes fall upon me. Okay. How much work did that do for us? We're still below where we're expected to be, but it at least gave us a decent amount. Um, I can, like, you know, make these titles to get some legitimacy, but I think I'd rather just save the option for my next character. I can usurp another kingdom. Guess I might as well do that. Uh, we're going to be passing everything on anyways to one of these two sons. If he can still get other traits that are decent, I, I might still play him. Shy's annoying, but it's not like the end of the world or anything like that. Uh, I do much more prefer intelligent than handsome. And then on top of that, he's going to be significantly younger as well. So I am kind of biased towards my younger son here. Guess I can keep upgrading these. Only the ones that I'm gonna take for a while, hold on to for a while. I mean, okay, what do we got here? We got a book, apparently. Oh, what does that do? Minus four clergy opinion. Do I actually want that? Maybe not. It's not too bad, but I'll just give it to him instead. Okay, they're pregnant again. Oh wow, are you kidding me? Oh. Lazy, craven, or arbitrary. I, I don't want any of these, again. Why does it have to do this when I'm raising like the one kid that I actually care about? This guy's got good traits. Maybe I should just play him. Well, we'll see. If they have a son here... Oh god, she's brackish and lustful. These kids might not even be his. Ah. <sighs> this 
This is so stupid. Lazy? Like, really? This is what we're doing here? You can't just give me any good options? Lazy and shy. Damn. What did I do to deserve this? Impatient we can give, or... Yeah, let's see. Ugh. This is horrible. I want to play him, but they're just doing everything to try to stop me from doing that. So my firstborn son now has a son who also has the trait. Yeah, I, I think I have to play him. It's just too god-awful. Lazy idiot. Get out of here. So we're going to do like that then. He's already got a couple kids. You know, it's better than nothing. Nope, nope, nope. Not doing that. I already know how that goes. Okay, what's going on here? Someone is attacking you, right? Okay, thank you. What are we doing here? Oh, I guess that's going to become a part of my empire now. Hello? There we go. Okay, how are things going here? Still in poor health. We are going to get a warning at some point, I have to imagine. I guess we could try to grab some stress on this character. What can we actually do? Diligent, brave, and impatient. So these aren't going to stress us out. Oh, I forgot about these. I have illegitimate children as well. No. Oh, he's married to my cousin. Okay. Whatever. So, next we'll play this guy, I guess. I was looking forward to playing the sun with intelligent. I really wanted to. But I just can't justify it when he's getting these terrible trades. That's so sad. Uh, what do we actually have here? Oh, that's kind of close by. What is that? Shylander? Shaylander? Fever? Uh, can't quite reach us, I don't think. So I think I'll just leave it. No, we're not doing that. I'll usually pay for those things when I'm still trying to have kids, but not when they're... not when I'm close to the end of my character's life. Um, we lost a lot of stress from that funeral that we hosted kind of wouldn't mind stressing my character out. I can't really think of anything off the top of my head to do immediately to uh, stress him, though. I might just have to kind of wait it out here. Oh, our vassals. Every time my name moves a little bit, I guess one of my vassals has won a war in some way. So it looks like over in this direction, these guys are continuing to expand. And there's a war here. War against the tyranny. Okay. Uh, 32k troops. <laughs> I doubt there's anyone on the map that I couldn't beat in a war right now. Who's actually powerful enough? Oh, wow, these guys are 5k. Nobody's too strong here. The HRE, 6k. Byzantines are in a few wars. Yeah. Interesting. Um. Different faith opinion. Maybe there's some small vassals out there who will like me enough to become... Or some small rulers out there who will become my vassals. I guess not. What are we dealing with here? Oh, you're at war. Minus 234. Okay, it's a lot more than I thought. 
minus 120 from being different faith. That alone right there makes it almost impossible. Cultural acceptance, space reluctance, whatever. You will submit to me eventually, or one of my vassals anyway. I'm kind of just sitting around waiting to die on this character. I don't want to get in some more that's going to be uh, too difficult. I guess we could do some of these smaller wars. I'm not sure if one of my vassals is going to end up doing these themselves. Oh no, you're in two different duchies. Why? Damn. Okay. Well, let's just get started, I guess. Oh, shouldn't be too difficult. Are you in one duchy? No, you're in two. <laughs> you guys have to make this all so difficult, don't you? Of course, they're allied to each other as well. That's a lot of troops. Wow. 11 armies it raised for me. Okay, he gets brave for the last one, but like it's it's too little too late. Worthless kid. Shy and lazy. Okay, let's go and fight him. Not joining anything. I don't care. I actually got a legendary figure now. I suppose it's mostly from the wars I'm winning. Also a good way to increase my legitimacy here a little bit. I don't care about giving this land to my sons. Okay. Making good progress at least. Who are you? Infirm. Okay, that should help us in our quest to die. So, it says we're dying, but it doesn't say we're near death. It says we're at poor health. Not sure what that means. This kid's at least going to be a good knight for us, so if nothing else, he can serve us in that regard. Uh, I guess I'll just start raising my grandkids, my heir's kids. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Okay. Well, we have plenty of time anyway. So what did you get? Charming, yeah, of course. Okay, I guess we go to diplomacy here. I would like to just have my character pass away at this point. My son's already 31. Not really much I can do about it, though. We can't give up strong. I don't know how to stress my character with this guy. Uh, maybe we can just get wounded or something like that. Ah, develop capital. There we go. We still need a little bit more for it to actually give us a health penalty, though. Shun food? Does this actually give me a, a penalty? Famished. Yeah, moderate penalty. I'm going to lose stress, but it's also going to give me a health penalty. There we go. Famished, infirm, malnourished. Not doing too well here. Um, now that we have all this prestige before we die, I, I might as well reform this. I don't think I'm ever meeting this or using this, Scandinavian elective, but it does make these give popular opinion. I guess we can't get rid of any of these. Malleable invaders. Do I care about this one? I'm not going to hybridize, personally.
some of my vassals might be more inclined to do so. It, it, everything here works so well together that I don't really know if I want to... Like even this one, if I want to give up shield maidens, which isn't a big deal, uh, I still give up this, plus one knights and 10% accolade glory gain. Not that I'm using accolades. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It um, There's nothing really to switch here. Popular opinion. So my character's brave, so how much popular opinion does that actually give us here? Brave plus 10. That's not bad. It's canceling out these ones from being low legitimacy. I guess I just won't do it. Scandinavian. Yeah, I could get rid of malleable invaders, but I have a feeling that my vassals that I put in, because I'm putting Norsemen everywhere. Sorry about that. They're going to, um... They're going to hybridize, or they're going to just adapt the local culture. Maybe. Not sure. But I'll just leave them with the option. I, I would like to reform, but there's nothing that I'm really dying to get anyways. It just feels kind of bad to, um... You know leave my character with uh, 12k prestige unspent. I think I'll just let it go though. The Norse culture is so damn strong anyways, you don't really need to reform it to give it anything. It's probably one of the most powerful starting cultures in the game. Uh, another one that I really like now is the new uh, Persian culture. They remade it with some really great traits. It's by far one of my favorites to play now. Uh, but Norse is certainly very powerful as well. Okay, there we go. Got our warning here. Mid-November. My chancellors keep dying. Okay. So you've been disinherited. You'll be a knight. Uh, this will be our little sister, once we're playing as him, and then he's going to have two kids. Guess I can just let him do both of those already. There we go. She's pretty good. She got strong in hail. 20 prowess at 13 years old. It's kind of a scary kid right there. Wrathful. Uh, all our sons are disinherited except for this guy, so we don't really have to worry anything about our succession. It's all done here. There he goes. You're an absolute disappointment to me. Lazy and shy. They really hit me with those on back to back. Just horrible. Uh, I'm just going to take the gold. It's going to help my next character a little bit. So our capital here is at 11 development, so I don't think I need to do that anymore. I'm just going to leave it on the gold instead. Uh, yeah, our vassals keep expanding a little bit at least. Doing some of the work for us. And let's just grab this before we die. Should be within a couple months here, I believe. We got our warning in November, or excuse me, uh, February. Yeah, I'm saving those duchy titles to make on this guy so that we can increase his legitimacy. Succumbed to a fatal apoplexy. A hollowed shell of his former self. Whatever. So, you know, not a super long reign on King Harold II. High King Harold II, rather. Uh, but not bad, we made some progress on him. Now we are taking over as High King Halestein. Hailstein? Halstein? I'm going to be continuing on. No! In the next part. Um, yeah, we're going to aim to subjugate Novgorod and invade Kingdom Lapland, maybe? Or invade Kingdom against the HRE and grab, like, East... 
or excuse, excuse me, uh, Germany or something like that. Might be kind of interesting. But we're definitely not done yet. Uh, thank you for watching this. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe and leave me a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.